So in this problem, we're told to use L of x to approximate the numbers, the square root of 0.9 and the square root of 0.99. Then we're supposed to round our answers to four decimal places. So in order to solve this problem, you got to know this formula. L of x is equal to f of a plus f prime of a times x minus a. And so first off, we got to decide what our variables are. So let's start off with a. So a is going to be a number that's like super close to the numbers they give us. So in this case, we have 0.9 and 0.99. So the obvious clear candidate seems 1. And that number should be like something that you could square root that would actually come to like a reasonable number. So like if I take the square root of 1, we know it's 1. If it was like something close to 4, like the square root of 4 is 2. So in this case, we're going to choose 1. And then, so what next you should decide is what f of x is. This is just our function. And so like it's just the function around your number. So in this case, we're just doing the square root of a number. So it looks like our function is just the square root of x. So with these in mind, now we can actually solve. So L of x is going to be equal to f of x with respect to a. So it's our function f of x, but we replace x with a. So just the square root of 1 plus the derivative of f of x with respect to a. We've got to find the derivative with respect to x of the square root of x. So this is just x to the 1 half, right? square root of x is x to the 1 half. And we just move the 1 half down. x and then minus 1 from our top. So minus 1 half. So you can just rewrite this as 1 over 2 rad x. You could keep it in the other form, but this form is just easier. So 1 over 2 rad x. But we're doing it with respect to a, right? So it's 1 over 2 rad. And then we put a for x. So 1 over 2 rad 1. And we're multiplying by x minus. And a is just 1. So now that we've got it like this, let's solve it. So the square root of 1 is just 1 plus 1 over 2 rad 1 is just uh, 1 over 2, right? Because rad 1 is just 1. The square root of 1. So it's 1 half times x minus 1. So 1 half times x is just 1 half x. And 1 half times minus 1 is minus 0.5, which is minus 1 half. And then let's combine like terms. So. Uh, let's just move the 1 half x out front, and 1 half, my, or 1 minus 1 half is just uh, 1 half. So now we've got it like this. We can solve both of these numbers now, since they're the same thing, right? So all we got to do is just plug in uh, for x what the numbers are inside. So let's go ahead and do that. So L of x, and so we're doing 0 0.9 first, right? So L of 0 0.9 is going to be equal to 1 half times 0.9 plus one half. So if you get out your calculator or whatever, one half times 0.9 is going to be 0.45 and then plus one half is going to be 0.95. So first one right here is going to be equal to 0.95. Do the second one. So L of 0.99 equal to one half. Then we just put 0.99 instead of 0.9. So 1 half times 0.99 is 0.495, then we plus 1 half, it'll give us 0.995. So this right here is going to be the answer to the second one. So yeah, these are going to be our answers to this problem.